Hi, in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can remove the side window glass from Mitsubishi Outlander. This is 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander. I'll show you how to do it. So first we need to remove the panel, it's very easy, there is one screw over here, there is another screw right here, you need to remove those screws and then you just pop out the uh, whole panel from the bottom. Now I'm just going to pull it from the bottom, alrighty. Now you need to disengage the lines that go over here, that connect the locking mechanism so it's really easy so I'm not gonna give you any close-up you just just pull it take the top off and pull it out one is out same thing on the other on the bottom one pull it out remove the tab pull this out so the panel is out so you can see right here you just Right here you only have tabs, so you, all you do is just pull it out. Now there is a little plastic that we need to remove a little bit. And I've been working on this for a couple of days, so right now my window is basically held by a piece of wood, as you can see right here. So now, when you're gonna be removing the regular, you need to watch not to break a couple of parts. I've already removed my regular, but basically it's held by f only four screws. And then you can drop down the window to remove it. Now, before you want to remove the glass window, of course we need to drop it a little bit. And then you need to take all those seals. Without the seals, you have plenty of space. And we also take, need to take the seal on the outside. The seal on the outside is held by screw right here. And there is another screw right here on the side. And then it's gonna come off. So I have removed all those side screws. Now all we have to do is just pull that seal out. Try not to break it, of course. Okay, I pushed a little bit from the bottom. Okay, so now the seal is out. Now here's a little trick to remove that window. So let me show you the trick first. There is one screw holding this part inside of the door, which basically has this rubber gasket that goes around entire window. So this port needs to be removed, otherwise we're not gonna be able to re remove the, the window. Uh, you don't need to remove the speaker. So basically that's the only screw that needs to be removed. Now I'm gonna slide the window down. And those are the broken parts that broke off. Now what we need to do is just slide it down and that the part and that metal part that was over here, we need to push it out a little bit to get the window out of the truck. Once the window is out of the truck, we can turn it this way. So this part on the right is out of that rubber seal. And I'm going to go and start turning the entire window. Is always a little tricky. I'm trying not to break the window, of course. There you go. The whole window glass is out. When you want to put it in, back in, you start it this way, turn it, and then later you need to just make sure that it's going to fit again in those rubber seals that is on the bottom. 
If you're interested how I fix my window, a regulator and the broken parts on the window, I'll give you the link on the bottom of the description of the video and at the end of the video. Now I'm gonna put the window glass again. This is the front side. This goes first. Slide it all the way. And I'm gonna go all the way down. And I'm gonna try to maneuver inside of the of the door to get it inside. Okay, good. I need to push that the thing that I was that is holding the the rubber parts of the glass and turn the window a little bit push this thing down okay good I'm in now I need to make sure that it's going to go into the rubber seal from both sides so first I need to push out that Rosen part of the window seal, put the window inside of the groove, okay, and now the right side should fit into the right side of the seal, okay, good, now I can pull it up. Okay, now I can close the window, good. So now I'm gonna drop it down a little bit so I can install my, uh, the truck. I put a little clamp on my window so the window does not drop anymore. And I'm just going to attach my uh, regulator together with the truck. Looks like everything's working. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to help you. And then subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.